Welcome back to yet another awesome guitar lesson here on Lick and Riff, in which I want to instill in you the courage to play slowly. Most of us, when we play fast, we play pre-cooked music. We play patterns. We play premeditated stuff. Um, and it's mostly technical. And when it's technical, you're not feeling it. So I want you to try to feel it again. I want you to regain what you lost when you learned to play fast. I want you to play slowly. I want you to sit down with your guitar and play slowly. I will, I will show you a few examples. And you, you'll see for yourself. When I play slowly and I get into the music, you'll get sucked into the music as well. Let's take just a couple of chords. B minor. Seven. Hey, G major 7, B minor with the barring finger on the G bass, that's all. Okay. B minor and G major 7. slowly you create anticipation. You create anticipation both in yourself and in the listener. When I'm playing B minor and G major 7, there is anticipation. There's anticipation and kind of a silent meditation between the notes. And when that car passed by, I assume that was a car, because if it's someone with a boombox, then I'm in the wrong century. Uh, when that car passed by with that really awesome, uh, I believe it was a clarinet, playing an exotic scale. When, with that really high volume thing, then, then you're, there's no anticipation, there's only energy. And these chords retain the energy. You know what I'm talking about? Talking about music is hard. Because you have to express the unexpressible. You have to talk about stuff that you can't talk about, which is the reason why music exists in the first place. Now let's strum something. of the band in, in what I'm playing because I can and, and if I was playing it okay, then I would basically just picture the drums maybe but when I play this I can hear the I can hear I can hear the bell piano effect I can hear a synth going in the background. I can hear uh, that that wind instrument, which I forgot the name of, where you go. 
I can I can hear a harp. I can, I can hear I can hear slight maybe a string section there, but just very 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 low key in the back, just a high note. And when you play slowly, you give yourself time to think about all that, to think about the arrangement of the music, the arrangement of your song, what you want to get out of it. When you play fast, you have no you have you haven't got a, a moment to stop and think because you, you're so busy just moving your hands around that you can't hear the music anymore. And um, again, you have to be a unique talent. You have to be a genius in order to play fast and still hear the music. Okay, to, to be in slow motion yourself while moving your hands around so fast. Now, if, if we've touched on soloing, um, I'm a slow soloist. I like slow solos. I can, I can play fast when I want to, but not really, really fast because I've never worked on that technique because I didn't want to work on that technique because I knew that if I play really fast, then that's all I'll be doing. I, I want to play fast all the time. So I challenged myself to be melodic um, and to have my solos mean something. Now, sometimes I do want to go fast, so sometimes I do um, put in a fast lick or two, but most of the time I'm a slow soloist. So um, when I play a solo, I listen for, for a melody. I try for rhythmical motifs. And the more space I give myself between licks, the more music I find. So, for example, I bet you could feel the music along with me, right? You could hear the band playing, the, the, the invisible band playing. You could hear it in your head while I was playing. Because I could hear it. And that's the magic of music. When you're just technical, if you're not feeling the music, neither do your listeners. And music is there to, to make us feel something, not to show off what we can do. Music is there to express feelings, to express something, to express, to express ideas that, that we can't express otherwise. So, so play slowly sometimes. Have the courage to play slowly. It's really difficult to play slowly when you're recording. It's even more difficult to play slowly in front of an audience. Really difficult because you're... You, your adrenaline is so high when you're in front of an audience that you want to, to express that energy. You want to, 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 to have a burst of energy going and you, you want to be all you can be. But sometimes when you play slowly, you open a door in time and space, in the time and space in which music exists for yourself to walk through so you can become all that you can be, so that you can become all the musician that you can be. Wow, that was a complicated sentence. Um, so thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video. And remember, play, play slowly sometimes. Bye for now.